Hey everybody, Southern Guy Reviews here again. Uh, we're going to do the actual installation and setup of the Bighorn. Uh, might be a little bit of a long process, so I'll speed through some of the setup. So that way you guys don't get too bored with the video. Alright, well let's get started. It says place your float flat on the floor with the pockets facing up, which is the way I have it right now. Unzip the, rears, the rear pocket Unzip the rear pocket behind the seat, insert the backrest bladder, lay flat, line up the valve stem to ensure it fits through the pocket access hole. Zip pocket closed. Okay. Well here is the bladder that goes inside the uh, backrest. So let's put this in there and see if we have any issues with it. Okay, I got it inside. To let you all know, there's actually a zipper inside of another zipper. So it's like you got you have a compartment back here, and inside that compartment is another zipper that you install the bladder in. Uh, it's a little blow-up bladder, so that'd be fairly simple. So I'm gonna go ahead and zip that back up, and we'll go on to the next step. Okay, everybody. Sorry, I had to take a little break there. My wife called. <laughs> so, step number three says to flip the float over so pockets face down. Unzip the zipper along the bottom and insert the main bladder. Be sure... Don't make no sense. Hang on a second. It says unzip the zipper along the bottom insert the main bladder be sure to bladder is upside down I think what it means to say is to be sure to have the bladder upside down I don't know I, I, I get to that point I'll let y'all know what it really means <laughs> the, the valve should be on the floor side facing the floor yeah, that's what it means. It means whenever you put the bladder in, just to make sure to have the valve facing toward the top, which the top will be flipped over, so it'll be facing the floor. Um, they need to go back and fix their addendum because it's worded improperly. So we're going to flip it over, and uh, we're going to install the main bladder. So let's get started on that. Okay. All right. Sorry, everybody. I got interrupted again. All right. So we're going to unzip the bottom and insert the main bladder into the system. But just be sure whenever you install it, it's got the little fill line. You got to make sure that this part is down in the proper location uh, because this has to face the top of your float tube. So I'll fast forward through it again, but just uh, bear with me. I'm trying. All right. So we unzip the main pocket. Right here is your main pocket. So now you install the main bladder system. Uh, I may have to get in the way of the camera to actually install this, so bear with me. All right, here we go. Okay, so we got the bladder installed inside the float tube. So what we've got to do is make sure that it's laying flat in there. Make sure your valve is through the opening here. And then once you have it installed properly, then you zip it up and go from there. Okay, well let's see what step number four is. 
Step number four, inflate the main bladder to about 30%, just enough to hold the shape. But for right now, I'm going to go ahead and continue the rest of the installation process, the setup. Uh, I'm just going to skip the actual inflation. But right now, you're supposed to inflate the main bladder 30, 30%. It's just enough to kind of get it to hold its shape. All right, it says once you inflate it, flip the float over and check the main bladder by unzipping the bottom. Well, it's already over, so you forgot the step where you flip it over to inflate. Uh, it's, to me, this is one of the reasons why I don't read instructions, because uh, they make no sense. And I got enough common sense, I can normally put one of these together with no problem. Uh, I'm just trying to do it according to the instructions for demonstration purposes. Uh, so let's see. Step number four, inflate main bladder, 30%, just enough to hold the shape. Step number five, flip the float over and check the main bladder by unzipping the bottom. The bladder should lie flat, untwisted, and centered underneath the float tube pockets. So the little fishing pockets that's on the side of these arms, it's, it's on the reverse side, the little pockets here. Uh, it's supposed to be centered up under those. Make sure the valve stem that attaches to the bladder fits into the access pocket of the float tube cover. Like I said, whenever you install this rubber uh, bladder, it's got that inflate to uh, the, yeah, <laughs> the inflate valve. Uh, there's a little hole right here that you poke it through, but whenever you flip the whole system back over, it's actually going to be sticking out of one of your little zipper pockets. So it's uh, pretty accessible when you're actually in the, the float tube. So if you're out on the water and you need to air it up a little more, you can easily access it. Uh, same thing with the back one. The back one I could actually inflate now because it's one of the blow up kind, but uh, I probably won't be taking it out till later tonight or tomorrow, so I'm not gonna bother inflating it. Uh, but I will inflate it for everybody. I'm, I'll show you that step, but it'll have to be later on. Okay. Uh, zip close the float tube cover. Uh, a twisted bladder will distort the cover when you blow it up. So make sure that whenever you put it in here, it's all nice and flat, smoothed out, and inflated 30%. Then zip your pocket back up. Let's see. Step number six, uh, inflate the rear bladder about 30%. So the bladder that's inside your backrest, you need to inflate that 30% or just enough to hold the shape. Uh, check step number seven, check the bladder by unzipping the float tube cover inside the rear pocket. See, now they're starting to talk about the rear pocket a minute ago. And the first step, it don't mention nothing about a rear pocket. Uh, so really, instructions, they leave stuff out. So whenever you go to set up a product like this, a lot of times you're just going to have to guess at it. Um, if, if you're not comfortable guessing about stuff they leave out of the instructions, look up on YouTube because most of the time somebody on YouTube's got something identical to what you have and they put it together to show you how to do it. So be sure to check them out. Uh, I'm sure you can pretty much find anything that you want to put together on YouTube. Uh, step number seven, check the bladder by unzipping the float tube cover inside the rear pocket. The bladder should lie flat, untwisted and centered. Make sure the valve stem that attaches to the bladder fits into the access pocket of the float tube cover. Zip close to float tube cover. 
Inflate the main bladder until most of the wrinkles are out of the cover. If any twist develops, stop. Defil deflate the bladder, straighten it out, uh, straighten it with, within the cover and reinflate it. Close the valve, the, close the valve caps tightly. Uh, inflate the rear bladder until most of the wrinkles are out of the cover. If any twist, yada yada, same thing. Just stop, deflate it, straighten it out, reinflate it. And then close the valve cap. Uh, connect the three spreader bar pieces by inserting the two long tubes into the shorter coupling tube with the angled ends on both long tubes facing out. So that's the piece of the PVC I showed you on the last video that I didn't know came with this. So it has a flat end and an angled end. The angled ends will be facing the outer part of your tube, so it'll face the outside. And it's got a little coupling, you slide the coupling onto the end of it, slide the other piece on the other side, and it's put together. Alright. Now place the mesh stripping apron on the floor with the graphics facing up, slide the spreader bar with the angled ends facing down uh, into the fabric sleeve at one end of the apron. So you want to make sure that your, your angles on the end are both facing in the same direction. This one's facing down, so the other end, I got to twist it a little bit to get it to go down. So now they're both facing down. And then you'll get your big horn um, netted, what do they call that thing? <laughs> A mesh stripping apron. Alright, well, your mesh stripping apron. Face it up to where you can read big horn and you can read the uh, little ruler they got written on it. That, that white will be facing upward. Um, right now I have it on the bottom of the float tube, but it's not attached to the float tube yet. I'm just showing you how to put the pipe into the mesh netting. Um, it's got little holes. Well, maybe not. Alright, well, it slides in this end. This end is Velcro. So when you're looking at it, it says Big Horn. The inside will have a little piece of Velcro in there. You just pull it apart and then you stick your piece of pipe in there. Oh, well, here comes Wifey. Alright, so that's it for now. I'll do the rest later.